adjusting his crown on his head. Guard chomp, Decidueye. So Fumu may be trying with the unfamiliarity of Decidueye. Let's see, maybe Dale hasn't spent enough time in the lab with it. He's about to find out. Uh, Decidueye, such a strong character. He has, the, uh, of course, the infamous burst that is plus eight and is full screen. Was just nutty. Alright, but we are round number one here. Escadel starting off with the JY. Fumu trying with the Spirit Shackle. Both players not hitting. So we a little bit of a uh, footsie game here going on in the field, but Escadel able to get in and go for the pot sand. Trying to shimmy. Both players being really respectful of each other's options. Fumu hovering, but it's going to get caught by the Release X. Escadel pulling out the tornado, trying to get it back in. Oh, it just misses the trajectory of that. Escadale, of course, charging the release X throughout the entire field phase. Crow Gunk, I like the support. I do like the support. So it's able uh, for Kumo to go a little bit more of the chip setups. This is going to knock him out and he's going to be able to confirm. Oh, he was just a little bit more patient. He could have actually got a huge punish off on that release X. It was going upward, so he would have it forever in a day to punish it. And he has his defense down, and release X coming out here from Dale. It's really cool to see uh, Garchomp's meta evolve over the past few, uh, past few years now, we could say, and see the implementation of release X into their gameplay. Hello! Situa's counter so good, able to beat out the homing attack. Tries for the frenzy plant, Dale not able to get a punish. And Fumu actually delaying his dive kick and it worked out there for him. Calls for the burst, trying to get Dale to spend his early maybe. Goes for the Magnemite setup, goes for some chip. Oh, that was a free burst attack. Actually, no, 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 I take that back. It was not a free burst attack because of the, the new invulnerable frames that Garchomp has. The great stuff there by Dale, actually, has been in the lab, knows some of this matchup knowledge. So if Fumu would have actually gone a bit for that bait and uh, went for the burst attack, it would have really pulled through it. Not a crit, so he's able to go with the full combo of Sky Africa. Or not Sky Africa, the Tiger D. Hitting with the arrows. Whoa! Getting out of there. Calling for the Sylveon. Calling for the Umbreon. Able to get away. And the Pizza Cutter. Raw Pizza Cutter. And then here, the Tick Throw. This should end the round. So we'll see if Fumu's able to adjust here. We'll see if he sticks with Burb, or if he'll go to the Fire Burb. Pulling out Fumu, hopefully pulling out some Stravinsky, going for Fire Bird. We're going back to the character select screen, so he might be seeing Fire Bird. Is he gonna get spicy? It's getting spicy. It's getting spicy, we got some spicy chicken legs coming out. It's around dinner time. It's 5.30 here in Nebraska, so we got some spicy chicken legs coming out here. And this is the classic matchup we're used to seeing with Fumu and SK Dale Blaziken versus Garchomp. Both players, excuse me, both characters having insane damage potential, but Fumu uh, being able to put on a little bit more pressure than Garchomp at most points, so see how it goes. Pocket Zans. SK Dale showing off that he knows the homing tech. Uh, homing tech. Whoa, that does clash. Mm -hmm. And then a tick throw there. Coming out from Kuma. No one expects Blaziken to grab. Shout out to my boy Live with Dave. He grabbed me so much with Blaziken. I love it. Blaziken going through the confirm. Neutral Y. No whip punish there on the Miss Space Dragon Claw, and then Escadale able to go for the Tiger Knee for the phase change. The stare off there, uh, Fumu playing a little bit too respectful in my opinion. Especially now with the burst, playing very respectful, but he, he's waiting for, I understand he's waiting for the Umbreon, and he's also waiting for the Release X. Release X has the upwards of vulnerability. The Blaze Kent being able, uh, being sniped out of the air very easily by anti-airs, not those release sexes. 
He's like, Boomer says, get out of here with that charge. Charge BS. But SDDL able to close it out there with the neutral Y. Alright. SK Dale sitting on match point. Shimmies him a little bit and goes in for the grab. At least that's coming out before he gets the Wata to toss. SK Dale dropping his combo though. Tries to do the 4 Y. 4 X. That's right. That's right. The buff move. The little cut. This, this, is, this is painful to watch. They see SK Dale getting all the resets. And it goes for the burst attack, but that does not set phase shift points, but could you imagine? And in one phase, he's able to take that. Yes. Yeah, it's just one one phase, or one corner pressure. That was all it was. He didn't even reset the phase shift points. He didn't even reset the phase shift points for that. And Garchomp able to take it. That is just... It hurts my soul. It hurts my soul.